so day two of trying to get the scope yeah the lady as we were leaving said good luck yeah. and i was like yeah thanks we're gonna need it because yeah. we don't know if we have a bus from but to skopje so updates later oh my god So kind of good news, we um, managed to get a bus to Skopje today but we can't make it by tonight so it's a 12 hour bus <laughs> that's as long as my flight from Malaysia to Frankfurt yeah but no choice so we'll go into Skopje tomorrow like 6 in the morning see the city for as much as we can drop our bags off at like some kind of leave your baggage sort of thing and just pay and don't care and then after I get on the bus back to Ogri uh, but at least we're getting there so right now we have five hours to spend. <laughs> and we thought people stared at us in Zada. No, people stare way more here. They stare like this like <laughs> pretty awkward. So our journey continues and it's epic. It's part two. The stupid bus is here. But it's full. It's completely full. So we met these very nice like people. Yeah. Who speak English. Yeah. So we're gonna go with them. Yeah. And they're gonna save us because we don't, don't know how worry. to get there. Don't yeah. worry. They're yeah. from Macedonia, so we're good. Relax. This is Balkan Peninsula. It happens yeah. all the time. No. It happens all the time. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God we met good people. Yeah. Which I seen him arguing with the bus yeah, driver. Yeah. Damn funny. I think they said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> because yeah. they were just. <laughs> He had, he had it full in his ear. So, update, they've changed our tickets to a different bus. We're still supposed to get to Skopje and it's supposed to be a big bus, so there should be space. Yeah. And we leave now like at 8 pm, so it's just been another hour and a half of waiting. And they managed to squeeze everybody to the mini tour bus. So I don't even know how. <laughs> because the thing is that if they could have really squeezed in the first place, why didn't they let the tour bus on, right? But no. So, let me show you what the bus looks like now. <laughs> yeah, it's like slanted and completely imbalanced. But I think this vlog is gonna be like a five minute long of how we're just gonna get to Skopje, whether we get there or not. <laughs> and it's finally on the bus to Skopje. Not gonna lie. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, I was super anxious just now. Wasn't sure the bus was gonna come. At least we're finally gonna be there in 12 hours. Oh my god, it's the longest day of my life. Waiting and freaking out and worrying and freaking out some more. And this bus goes to Ohrid and Skopje. And when I wanted to put the stuff in, I go, this bus goes to Skopje. And the bus driver looks at me and goes, huh? No, Ohrid. And I'm like, I'm like, then I show him my ticket and he's like, oh yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like this whole day is just being full of waiting and like, yeah, is the bus coming? The bus not coming? Yeah. But finally, we're on the bus. <laughs> Nasib mia, mak cakap bawa Vix. Bas ni memang busuk. Tak tahu busuk apa. Tak tahu bas busuk ke, kaki busuk ke, badan busuk ke. Kamu ada gula-gula? Ada. Nasib kita boleh cakap bas Melayu. Kalau tak ada pun stres. Tak mandi, lagi panas, lagi busuk. Wah, Jeremy sekarang you pasti tak boleh tahan. Like the mission trip, you might need to give me a So, we made it to Skopje, and within half an hour, we're gone yeah. because we saw everything we needed to see on the bus. And now That's we're yeah, and now we're heading to Ohrid with a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> Our taxi driver's hilarious. So. <laughs> Don't talk about me. <laughs> so we just counted, and it took us like about 36 hours to get to Skopje. About approximately, not including the fact that we just hung out in Dubrovnik the whole day that day. So if you class all that together, it's like almost 40 hours. Okay, so we're finally in Ohrid. Uh, didn't get to film much of our finding the apartment. That was traumatic on its own, but I'll get to that in a minute. Turns out, you know, our taxi driver that was like funny and we took some video, he was crazy. And he had all these crazy views about life, like that violence solves all problems and that women should stay at home and cook yeah, and clean. Yeah, killing children! 
He was crazy. We tried to find the apartment and it was quite difficult. Actually, it's only two minutes away, but like we went one giant round. It almost started raining. Yeah, the lady told us to go the opposite direction. Thank God we met another stranger and he had a map on his phone and oh my god like so we've just been blessed with kind strangers it's an experience to remember um another story that happened when we were in montenegro was we went into this restaurant Nina, you want to tell it you tell it okay we wanted to buy burgers so we asked this guy so um uh, we want burgers so and then this what this what the guy said uh he was, he was like whoa 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 then i was like oh okay fine then i asked this lady so it's like uh how how, how do you like uh but how how do you purchase a burger style or is it like because some it's, it says like self-service counter or whatever but we don't know how it works and then she's like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa and then she points to the other guy so it's like okay so how do we get burgers and then this guy whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa and then points back to the 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 first guy then we're like okay so how in the end they just ignore us and then we were just we were like puzzled lah, so we didn't know what to do and we were like, okay fine, we don't want your burgers. So we walked off. Our, we were supposed to take a bus to Skopje and it and the bus was supposed to leave at 6.30. So like at 6 o'clock we were quite anxious, we were like, okay, so where's the bus, where's the bus? So I went <laughs> bus to bus and I asked them, are you going to Skopje? They're like, no. Okay, so I I, I went like, a, uh, I, I keep going on lah, like for how many times I asked? A lot. Yeah, I, I, I asked like countless of times and they say, nope, nope, nope. Then we were like, okay, so how? She, she's not coming anymore. So we were scared. But so like, yeah, and then like what Sam said, the minivan came and then it was full and then the drama happened. So yeah, that was like another drama on its own. Trip to Scorpio has not been great. It's It's been eventful. Yeah, it but hasn't been like, it's definitely memorable. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been very memorable. Yeah, it hasn't been like, like whoa the best memories <laughs> but it's been memorable and yeah. sometimes that's important also so have like good memories and bad memories yeah yeah yes. so we met like really nice people as well yeah not everybody is bad but there have been some bad ones yeah. so. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. I know oh I sorry <laughs> <laughs> so it's supposed almost be pre-summer weather but let me show you the weather right now come on <laughs> 17 But it's not too bad It's okay Look at me <laughs> Okay, so um, Lynette and myself Hey Boats here are much different from the Dubrovne <laughs> Like it's actually cobblestone -y and there's a lot of steps and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so I'm glad I brought my backpack here. <laughs> Big regret bringing backpack into Dubrovnik because like I could just pull a bag, but here you actually really need a backpack. So um, yeah, so we're just walking around. It's quite cute. It's like Cameron Highlands. The weather also like Cameron Highlands. <laughs> yeah. Remember how I said a lot of steps? <laughs> Fish and chips by the sea. So we made a cat friend when we were on the island of this. And now we made a... We made a dog friend. Hello! Sure. The weather here is ridiculous. It was just raining like two minutes ago. And now it's so hot. We have to climb up this hill that Lynette almost pushed me down. <laughs> All the way down. 
She almost pushed me off this. The end of our trip. There, I got one more lizard this morning. Okay, if you land, run across that tree, but you keep. <laughs> but she grabbed me and was pushed me down. <laughs> L. Elyon's next stage. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> we want more! <laughs> Alright, so um, we're gonna head back to Skopje today in a three hour bus and then catch the bus from Skopje to Koto Montenegro, which leaves at 5 pm today. We know there's a bus, so that's good, but. I don't know, anything can change in this country. Um, just wanted to show you the bus stop here in Ohrid. It is not even a bus stop, it's just, and I feel like it's just... I don't know, we stopped here on the way to Skopje and we didn't even know that this was the bus stand because we are like, okay, you know, it was taking a while to get to Skopje and we are like, okay, you know what, if we get to Ohrid, we'll just get down because we have to get to Ohrid anyways. And then we got here and then there's another bus waiting to take us to Skopje and we just jumped on the other bus because we thought oh okay yeah. like that's it and yeah. then we just jumped on the next bus and then we didn't even know it was a station it looks like nothing like there's nothing here it's not even a city it's not even a town but um it's all right now we're headed to Kotor and then we have a couple of nights there and then hopefully we get to Dubrovnik <laughs> we shouldn't be a problem go to Dubrovnik yeah, it's only yeah. about 3 hours worst come to us is grab a cab and pay lots of money and then we fly back from Dubrovnik I can't believe it's almost over <laughs> I'm so mm, that's almost over um, but yeah it's been good so far see ya bye, bye.